What is going on everybody? YouTube.com slash Centex here for another Bucky and the New Boston tutorial for Pi Game. Where we left off, we're drawing this button. Uh, we've got this nice button function now. And we got the buttons showing up. They're rollover and interactive and all of that. Great, but they don't actually do anything. So how might we actually make something happen? Well, there's a few things that we can do, but what we can do, uh, for example, is for event, let's go ahead and print event again. You don't have to type this out, just kind of like watch as I do this. Um, and we'll bring this down here, and you'll see that, um, oh, we're not printing event. Or did we go to the game loop? Oh, we're in the pause section. Nice. Uh, not pause, uh, game intro. Oh, okay, we already have a print event here. Nice. Let's try that again. So there's our mouse over that, and then let me move this here. So there's that, and then when we click, you can see that um, there was an act. I can't click, and like this video still stay up. But anyway, you have an actual um, thing here. Like this is the click, basically. So you've got a mouse motion that occurred, and you have a click. And what we can do is we can actually reference all of the mouse buttons. Well, not all of them. Like my mouse has a lot of buttons on them uh, or on it, but for the most part, you can reference the mouse wheel, the right and the left, or well, right and left uh, buttons on the mouse. Uh, there might be a way to reference like more of the buttons on the mouse, but I'm not really sure uh, with Pi Game. I only know that you can reference like the three buttons. So. Um, for example, let me uh, let's go ahead and, and comment out print event, and let's go back up here to our button function. And now let's go ahead and say um, to 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 access the mouse buttons. What we do is is we'll say click equals pi game dot mouse dot uh, get pressed. So this is going to get any presses that we do, and then I'm going to go ahead and just print out click. So let's save and run that. And you can see that it's currently just mad pasting out basically 000. But as soon as I do any sort of click like on the screen, you'll see it's printing out one. I'm holding down my click and then my this is my right and then I'm pressing down the center. And um, so we've got center click, left click, right click. So you, you can see how you can like reference all of those. So um, let's close out of this. And a left click was the first, like this is a tuple, the zeroth element in this tuple is the left click. So that's what we want to ask for, like is that actually happening? So how might we do that? Well, we know that we only really care about the click if it's um, basically in the button. So if it's within these bounds. So we can actually just use these bounds and we can say, um, for example here, um, if click zero, so if the zeroth element um, equals one, what do we want to do? Well, for now, we can just say print, um, lost my mouse, there it is, uh, button clicked. And then let's comment out this print statement here, just in case. And let's go ahead and save and run that. And here we are, and I'll bring this over. Hello. Maybe, there we go. Um, so we can bring this like this, and so we're hovering, and then we can click on these buttons, and you should see button clicked you know, popping up on the screen each time you click on a button. So now we've built some functionality to know when the button is being clicked, and now all we have to do is add some sort of action to that button being clicked. So for example here, I can just say active color, and then action, oops, action and then we're just gonna say action equals uh, none for now and then uh, as we scroll down to the actual calling of the buttons we can add in whoops we can add in the actions right so um, to play the action might be play controls the action will be controls quit the action will be quit now uh, we can't just say like for example um, play like well let's do quit so if you pass through quit like this, it just won't work. And if you pass through quit like this, it's going to quit as the function loads because it loads these into memory. 
and it's going to run all of these statements. So if you throw a function in there, it's going to run that function. So we can't do it that way either, but I'll show you how we're, we're going to get around um, doing that. But for now, uh, that's what we'll do in the next video. So here we just uh, wrote some logic to basically understand when we're actually physically clicking within the button ranges. So anyway, that's it for this video. Stay tuned to the next video, and thanks for watching.